What's going on YouTube, ACL Official back with a new Raw vs Fake guide. In today's one I'm taking a closer look at the differences between a pair of real and fake Louis Vuitton mascot sunglasses. The product code if you're wondering is Z0936E. The real pair are going to be on the right and the fakes will be on the left for the majority of the video. Starting off with the packaging, current Louis Vuitton boxes are light orange in colour. They have Louis Vuitton printed in dark blue across the front and the box itself should also have a textured appearance. If we move on and take a closer look at the fake one, you'll notice the box is much darker in colour, the Louis Vuitton print is really shiny and the box isn't as textured either. Obviously not all Louis Vuitton packaging has been the same forever. There have been changes made to the pull tab on the end of the internal box as well as the internal box itself and because of these changes it's also worthwhile looking out for other differences as well. One of these differences is packaging quality. As you can see here the fake box wasn't very well made, it easily ripped and there's also no text or anything on the inside. If we take a closer look at the authentic packaging now you'll notice that the box is made to a higher standard and there's also some text on the inside that wasn't seen on the fake. Another thing you'll want to pay attention to is the actual case that the glasses come in. Right now authentic Louis Vuitton sunglasses come inside a navy case which has a magnetic clip function. The interior is lined with a soft suede like material and there's more Louis Vuitton branding. This fake copies an older style Louis Vuitton case and because the engraving on the front is poor and the font on the inside is wrong, we know it's fake. Here's a closer look at one of the many older genuine versions. Light packaging, dust bags have also changed over time but a few things you may want to just use in general just to look out for the font, make sure it's not faded or blurred and the same goes for the cleaning cloth as well. Moving on to the actual sunglasses, the general appearance is obviously going to be important. Here you can see that the acetate and metal used for the genuine version are very high quality and this gives the glasses a shine. The fakes don't match this standard. When compared to the real deal, the material quality isn't as high and that's the first difference between real and fake here. Looking out for temple engravings will help you a lot as well. On the current Louis Vuitton mascot sunglasses, the engravings are very sharp and the temples are a distinctive yellow gold colour. On the fake, you'll notice that the text is nowhere near as defined and if you look underneath the U of Vuitton, you'll notice some engraving errors and this is another bad sign. This next tip relates to functionality and what you want to do is just test how easily the temples fold in and out. If you look at the fake one, you can see it's a lot harder to push in and out. The real one kind of clicks into place really easily, it moves fluidly. On the fake one, it just takes a lot more effort. The movement just isn't anywhere near as smooth and that's quite a good way of spotting a fake. Next up, here's a closer look at the monogram engraving along the top of the frames. This monogram engraving is present on quite a few different LV frames, not only the mascot model. Because of that, it's very possible that you'll see slight variances in the appearance of the actual engraving. And so even though I'm showing you them in this comparison here, I wouldn't actually recommend using this unless you know a lot about the sunglasses you're looking at already. More information on this is available in the member section of the website and you can use the link in the description to get there. That wraps up everything I had planned for this video. I'll leave you with some additional footage now just comparing both the sunglasses to give you a bit more context and hopefully help you learn a bit more. But anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Definitely check out the new website as well, mrcloserlook.com. Loads of reviews, guides on there, all of that stuff. So definitely check that out. But yeah, that's it for this video. So hopefully I'll see you again on the next one.